All right, Nerlos, I'm live coming to you from Southern California here. It's about 4.33 p.m. in the afternoon. I'm just doing a recap on today's stories. Wow, lots of stuff is going on. Uh, Merry Christmas, by the way. Yeah, for Obama to never say it. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Has Obama ever said Merry Christmas? Uh, I did a video yesterday called 40,000 people a day tell Obama he's an idiot. <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> a lot of people are writing the president. Uh, from around the world and saying, hey, we're glad that you're gone. Bye bye <laughs> He's the Antichrist, so I'm glad he's gone as well. But the Bible says that the Antichrist will lose power and then come back into power. So he'll be slithering somewhere, so watch out for the snake. Yeah, anyways, happy uh, Thursday. It's uh, the 22nd of December, 2016. And this is Daryl Lawson Live. I'm here Monday through Friday, actually, every day of the week, uh, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., 10 a.m. twice a day on Facebook Live. And then a recap here on YouTube Live. Yeah, and I have over 1,413 videos, 1,413 videos as of today on my YouTube channel. And I have scores of new videos now on Facebook Live archived as well. You can go to DarylLawson.com, my website. Click on the links and subscribe to everything. Facebook pages, Twitter, Google+, Instagram, YouTube channel. Get the information out. We are a blessed generation because we have the Internet uh, in these last days. If it wasn't for the Internet, Trump probably wouldn't have won. Yeah, uh, people uh, got to, uh, uh, ha well, had the privilege of bypassing the crappy news media and finding out who Trump really is. And what Trump has done is doing what he's going to do. So if you listen to the crappy media, they would be, they would be saying that Hillary's winning. No use going, to the, going and voting. Hillary's going to win. Hillary's going to win. Hillary's going to win. Hillary's up in the polls. Hillary, uh, you know, is on track. Trump is off the tracks. You know, so what are you talking about? <laughs> people bypassed the crazy media and went to the internet and Trump won because of the internet really it was the hand of Jesus using the internet yeah so love it cheers Merry Christmas so we're gonna have a I I know it's already feeling like a better Christmas already I don't go by feelings but it's just so nice that you can feel the blessings of God uh, when the Antichrist is on the way out. I love it. Yeah. Did you say Obama's the Antichrist? Yes. Watch my videos. <laughs> Just Google it, Yahoo it, Opera it, whatever, Bing it, Daryl Austin YouTube video, Antichrist or whatever other topic, it'll come up. Yeah. All right. Like I, did, I, like I said, I did 40, uh, uh, a video yesterday called 40,000 People Today. <laughs> Tell Obama he's an idiot. Very interesting article uh, that Obama gets a lot of mail every day and, and most people most people from this article that I, I talked about yesterday and other articles uh, just love that he's leaving. Bye-bye. I was reading, I'm reading an arc article right here. A tycoon, another tycoon, another multi-billionaire is moving. A new guy, a Chinese auto glass tycoon, is shifting part of his empire to the U.S. and setting up a factory in Ohio. Have we ever heard that in the last eight years now? Why has it happened under Trump? Because Obama's cursed. That's why. Obama is cursed, and you cannot have a environment conducive to growth when you, when the atmosphere is cursed. Everything Obama touches is cursed. He touches Obamacare; it's cursed. He touches the economy; it's cursed. He touches what is it? What else? I mean, he touches the bathrooms. The bathrooms are cursed. <laughs> he touches the military. The military is falling apart. You know, Trump is not even in the White House yet, and auto automatically. Uh, you know, China's moving, uh, uh, chi a Chinese tycoon uh, is moving, uh, I think, $600 million investment into Ohio. When do you ever hear that? You always hear, you know, Chinese jobs going to China. Now, the China, uh, uh, Chinese companies are moving to the U.S. That's what happens when the wicked witch of Narnia loses her power. It gets war. You ever watch the Chronicles of Narnia? I love those movies. And, of, of course, off the book series, yeah. And, uh, you know, the wicked New World Order witchcraft is being broken. Revelation 13.3, I saw one of the heads of the beast as wounded to death. That's what's happening. One of the seven heads is wounded. One of the seven continents is, is having the New World Order get its butt kicked here. North America is be, being set free for a short period of time before the Great Tribulation period. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, it's great. China tycoon moves jobs to U.S., citing high taxes at home. <laughs> when have you ever heard stuff like that? <laughs> and of course the demons are mad. I did a video on Facebook this morning talking about Ivanka. Ivanka! 
Ivanka Trump uh, was really harassed by a demon-possessed uh, couple uh, today. Uh, they're flying. I think she was, she was flying from New York to Florida. Hey, that's a great place to, you know, to what, from cold to uh, to the sunshine. I heard that New York wasn't uh, as cold lately, but maybe not. Maybe it's getting colder today. Yeah. But uh, she's going south anyways. And while she was flying with her husband, Ivanka Trump, the daughter of Donald Trump, was with her husband and her, I think, three kids. And a demon-possessed man, actually a demon-possessed gay man, uh, screaming at her in the plane. Yeah, it says it right here. Here's Daily Mail. Screaming Brooklyn lawyer. Yeah, that's like triple possessed. Screaming Brooklyn lawyer chases down Ivanka Trump and yells at her as she sits with her kids on the flight. Why would he do that? And, and verbally attack them. Uh, and the Secret Service were there. Uh, so the Secret Service are assigned also to Ivanka Trump, which is hey, uh, which is a uh, no-brainer. Uh, but the fact that uh, Ivanka is taking a commercial airlines is is I think is just you know she's going to learn from this today hopefully, and just fly commercial from now on because the demons are upset, the demons that lost the fallen angels, the demon of the spiritual darkness of this world. Principalities and powers and rulers of darkness, Jesus says in the Bible, uh, are upset and they're not going to get over it. And they're going to manifest and freak out uh, when they have an opportunity. This guy, apparently, what was his name? I'll get uh, Goldstein. Dan Goldstein uh, had to run over there and actually saw her in the airport, tweeted about it on Twitter, and then made a scene in the airplane. He was kicked off by JetBlue, which he should have. Uh, it says, uh, he screams at her. A passenger on a JetBlue flight accosted Ivanka Trump on Thursday morning. Today. He, uh, so he screams out at her, your father is ruining the country. <laughs> Every time I see uh, the news, something positive is, is happening to the U.S. because of Donald Trump's presidency. Yeah, I mean, I just read, China Tycoon moves $600 million project into Ohio. Well, hallelujah. And past the cranberries. So the demons are upset. The fallen angels, the new world order is upset. And they can't shut up. They can't uh, be quiet. Who would do this? The father, uh, you no, know, she screams out and says, your father. So Dan Goldstein screams at Ivanka and says, your father is ruining the country. Well, he saves jobs uh, for the for the Americans for uh, at, at the carrier air conditioning company. Uh, the other guy from Japan, the billionaire, said he's going to put how many billion into the economy? Wow. He's the guy, what's his name is, uh, Masa, Masa, Yoshi, uh, what's that guy, billionaire's name who bought Sprint? Uh, wow. You know, talk about, uh, what did he say, 50,000 jobs? Yeah. That's a guy, I'll, I'll pull it up here. I mean, that's not ruining our country. Uh, Masayoshi Son, Son, Masayoshi, Yoshi Son, uh, 50,000 jobs. That's a lot of jobs, boy. Remember that was a couple weeks ago. Uh, SoftBank, Trump says SoftBank, which is Masayoshi Son, uh, the investor will invest 50 billion in the U.S. and create 50,000 jobs. Yeah, it's already coming to pass. Japanese billionaire. I mean, that's, uh, you know, carrier, soft bank. Now you have a glass maker from China moving here. Or some of his business moving in here. 600 million investment in Ohio, which is going to help the whole economy. Uh, so when you have a demon-possessed man screaming, and he is demon-possessed. Yeah. And uh, the headlines should really say homosexual or gay man screaming. Because this, this, this guy is homosexual. He says him and his husband. Daryl, don't you like homosexuals? Did I say I don't like homosexuals? I don't like homosexuality, but I love people. He screams out, your father is ruining the country. Said Dan Goldstein, a lawyer from Brooklyn, who had his child in, had a child or a child in his arms. 
He then began he then began demanding to know why Ivanka was on the flight and not traveling on a private jet while, while she sat with her kids. That's none of his business. You know, for him to do that, and it was this was planned out. I mean, talk about who would do this? She has her three kids there and her husband. Ivanka ignored him and tried to preoccupy her children with crayons while the man berated her. Now, this is a lesson to Ivanka, I hope, that she will not fly commercial anymore. She needs for her own safety to fly private. She has enough money. She's worth $150 million plus, not to mention how much her husband owns. Probably multi multi-millionaire as well. And then her dad's multi-billionaire, so it's for her own safety. If you can't get to Donald Trump, you'll try to get to his children. Right? If the forces of darkness can't get to Trump himself, they're going to try to get to his close one, clo closest ones around him. And she has to be careful. Pray for the family for protection. Because if, if Donald Trump is going to have a successful four years, or maybe even eight years as president uh, for re-election, we need to be praying every day for their protection and for their guidance and for their help. He just picked uh, Mr. Spicer uh, as his press secretary. So... Uh, who's that guy? You know, uh, just because they're no names to us doesn't mean that they're not good picks. Like Pence, not many people knew the vice uh, uh, Donald Trump's vice president pick, Mike Pence, but yet he's perfect pick for the for uh, a vice president for Trump. Perfect. The New World Order doesn't like the president and doesn't like the vice president, which is great because uh, it's it's safety. When you have a good anti-New World Order president and an anti-World New anti-New World Order vice president, they've been unplugged from the Matrix. It's, it's safety for them. Yeah. Ivanka ignored him. A fellow passenger said later that Ivanka told security and flight staff she did not want to make an incident, and she didn't want to have anyone removed from the flight. But JetBlue got in. I mean, that's so. I mean, talk about classy lady. The man's husband, so it's a gay couple. Matthew Lasner tweeted, My husband expressed his displeasure in a calm tone. I don't think it was a calm tone. Jet Blue staff overheard it and they kicked us off. I'm surprised he didn't say, Racism, racism, I'm gay. You know, last time I checked, uh, you can disagree with people as well. See, uh, homosexual, uh, uh, the homosexual community, by and large, screams the loudest. Uh, and But you can't, you can't disagree with that or you're racist. Obama uses the same thing, and I'm not making a blanket statement, but that's uh, I've seen that a lot. They can have their opinion, which is great, the homosexual communities. But we should also have uh, uh, the right, and we do have the right, to disagree with them without being called uh, homophobic or racist or unloving or unkind or hate mongers. Yeah, uh, Jesus loved the person but hated the sin. And if you read Romans chapter 1, Homosexual, homosexuality is listed as a lust of the flesh, chosen by humans to go against a biblical uh, sexual uh, 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 st style instead, a biblical lifestyle in sexuality instead of a lust. The Bible calls homosexuality a lust. Homosexuality a lust. So, and and when I read the scriptures and I see things on the planet, some of the most I'd say I'd say to me, in my opinion, the most outspoken ha hateful spirits are lust spirits come from lust demons that control people. And homosexual, homosexuality is, is one of many lusts uh, labeled in the Bible. We love the person, but I'm going to disagree with their lifestyle. Like I, said, like I said this morning on Facebook Live, we should have bumper stickers. Get a wife. <laughs> a female wife. <laughs> get a life, get a wife. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. And, and listen. People don't even know what, the, what bathrooms to use under Obama. Obama's a homosexual. That's why he promotes homosexuality. And the Bible says they don't know their left hand from their right hand, spiritually speaking. So we have to love the people enough to love them, pray for them, and speak the truth, whether they like it or not. And so this is just a manifestation uh, of a lustful demon in this person and, and doing this. We could say it was all about the, it's all about the election. It's more than the election. Uh, most people... Uh, would not do this on a plane. Most people in the U.S. actually love Ivanka and her family and Donald Trump. That's why he won in a landslide. But there are people that the demons are upset because they lost this election. The New World Order is upset because they lost this election. And so you're going to have this manifestation. So for the sake of Ivanka, she needs to, uh, and her family, she needs to fly commercial. I mean, not, not fly commercial, fly private. 
No, book a book a flight, private jet from where you're going. I mean, yeah, bore your dad's plane, whatever. Her dad's plane's going to be available because her dad's going to have Air Force One. Yeah. Yeah, but for her own safety, she should definitely fly, fly private from now on. Yeah, for her safety and if anything happened to her, I mean, Trump would be uh, maybe devastated. Donald. Yeah, and so she's. I mean, you, you have this calm, collective, collected spirit, uh, uh, humble. She's worth 150 plus million. Her dad's the president. She could have been snooty, snotty, prideful, arrogant. But she tries just to ignore them. Wow. Talk about the grace of God upon this family. The man's husband, Matthew Lasner, later tweeted, blah, 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 blah. And we weren't doing anything wrong. Kind of like uh, my husband expressed his displeasure. That's what Twitter's for. That's what email's for, all right? Not on a closed plane with in front of Ivanka's family like that. That's crazy. I'm surprised, like I said earlier, that the Secret Service didn't punch this guy in the mouth. Yeah. Yeah, what are you going to do? You don't, you, you know, and, 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 and they should have cordoned off a part of the plane just for have the back of the plane or the front of the plane. I guess the back of the plane would have been more safe because people come to the front of the plane and they, they board. So if you have the back of the plane... You know, cordoned off just for this family. That's what they should have done. JetBlue should have done that, yeah. We're going to lose money. It's, it's for safety reasons. I mean, they, they're, they're, they're surrounding the Trump Towers with barriers for the safety of, the, of, of Donald Trump and his staff and all that. So they should do that wherever they go. See, Ivanka, please, uh, and your husband. Uh, her husband was there as well. What's, what's his name? Uh, let me see here. And not only that, however, one hour before... Uh, the flight, the man, Dan Gold, Goldstein, obviously knew she was there. He tweeted, Ivanka and Jared are at the JFK TF5 flying commercial. I guess this was the uh, Go uh, Dan Goldstein's uh, husband, homosexual husband. Uh, what's his name again? Lasner. Lasner said uh, on, on a Twitter feed, that's right, my husband is chasing them down to harass them. Wow, wow. I mean, how blind and dumb and satanic are you if you, if you say your father is ruining the country? He hasn't even been into the White House yet and ha has an inauguration yet. This is a major sign of demons and fallen angels and demon spirits really just upset. They're never going to get over it. We have to pray for these people that God intervenes in their lives and that they turn their lives over to Jesus and have their sins washed away like anybody else. But to say, you know, my husband is chasing them down to harass them is just as evil as you can get. Evil. But that's the spirit that they're of. Let Lasner and Goldstein, that, that homosexual couple, were accommodated on the next flight available, according to JetBlue. Lasner deleted his Twitter account, Twitter account soon after. So he's ashamed, and he should be. He should be ashamed of himself and his actions. Ivanka and her family are heading away for the holiday, meaning they will be spending 12 straight hours on the plane. <laughs> That's a long flight. She's 35 years old, Ivanka, and she was traveling with her children. Three children. Wow. And, and it says here, uh, from dailymail.uk, the guy was screaming at her. Why is she on our flight? She should be flying private. What's, what's That's none of your business. Doesn't even make sense. Wow, they kicked, they kicked them off the plane. They should have been kicked off the plane. They should be banned from JetBlue, to be honest with you. That's disrespect. That's, that, that's disrespecting not only her, her family, her kids, and JetBlue. It's, it's disrespecting the country. Just disrespecting the office of the president. Yeah. Lasner took a photo of Ivanka sitting on the plane writing that they were kicked off for expressing displeasure about flying with Trumps. That, that's just loony tunes right there, yeah. But it's a bigger picture. It's, it's, uh, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a clarion call. It's a, it's, a, it's a warning that people need to pray for the whole family, that they walk in discernment. This is a new time for them. And they must be all protected and walk in wisdom and discernment, understanding, so the protection of God will help them. 
even though the uh, Secret Service were there, uh, it needs to be a lot more than this. And of course, there's screening and there's, uh, you know, the, the, I don't even like to, to call the TSA uh, doing a great job because they're not. They should, they should, the TSA should be done away with. There's just, there, there should just be regular just, you know, wand checking for any kind of weapons and all that. But the TSA, a lot of it is just baloney. And they haven't done anything or caught anybody, so just get rid of them. But they're, but, but they're uh, uh, in the news all the time for molesting people, little old ladies, little children, women, making people feel like crap. Yeah, TSA should be done away with while you're doing away with the uh, Federal Reserve. Do away with the TSA. They're, it's, it's just, you know, I'm all for jobs, but not that those jobs, harassing people, yeah. And while Goldstein was happy to go after Ivanka and Lasner was eager to defend his actions, neither of the men confronted Ivanka's husband. Jared Kushner, who was right next to her on the flight standing in the aisle the entire time. Uh, come on, Jared. You know, do something. Say something. And maybe, you know, it's not reported exactly what happened. But seriously, don't fly commercial anymore. This is ridiculous. It's a picture of them. And, uh, they're, and they're too close to the people. I know they're, they're people you know, personable people, but not with, when you're dealing with the New World Order, they're mean. The New World Order is, uh, is satanic. Oh, they'll, they kill millions and billions of people around the world all the time. The Vatican run New World Order. They start the wars. They destroy the nations or try to. They, they, I would not, you know, I would not allow the New World Order to get near Ivanka or the family in any way, shape, or form. Goldstein began screaming to the crew and they escorted him off the plane. You're kicking me off the for expressing my opinion. His tweets were deleted less than an hour and he cl closed his entire account. JetBlue re released a statement on Thursday morning saying the decision to remove a customer from a flight is not taken lightly. If the crew determines that a customer is causing a conflict in the air, air, aircraft, especially a 12-hour flight, who knows? You don't want to be in the middle of the air with a knucklehead. The customer will be asked to deplane, especially if the crew feels the situation runs the risk of escalating during the flight. There you go. Members of the Secret Service were on the flight. I mean, they should, you know, it should be cordoned off. And she shouldn't be even flying on this commercial. Members of the Secret Service were on the flight with the family but did not intervene. Instead, chose to let the airline handle the issue. Yeah, I'm sure they did a great job, but still, that guy shouldn't even be close to them. And of course, there's going to be different opinions. People said, well, that's not exactly what happened either. I, I think that's exactly probably what happened. Uh, Somebody else was saying they ruined the country, now they're ruining our flight. The guy can't even sit on the same plane uh, with the Trumps. That's, that's an evil spirit, yeah. The guy was visibly shaking. The, when he got on and saw her sitting behind him, he said, oh my God, this is a nightmare, and was visibly shaking. Demons. Some think the man wasn't capable of violence. Yeah, sure. Who would do that? They said about Ivanka, she handled the situation calmly and with class. I hope she's protected because I know this is... Uh, we don't fight against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places. I mean, these, these are the force of darkness. Anyways, very interesting. We ought to pray for them. When I read this, you know, this is just another wake-up call to pray every day and don't stray. Pray, obey, and pray. <laughs> and I'm telling you, there, I mean, look at the... I've done videos on people caught at the Trump Towers trying to get through security with guns. If, you know, uh, God forbid anything happens to Trump, we got to pray. Uh, because the New World Order would like to see 
Well, uh, another JFK assassination, they would. I mean, look at uh, Bill Gates after he met with uh, Donald Trump. He said, I, I, you know, uh, he uh, Bill Gates said of Donald Trump, he reminds me of JFK. Now, I know why, uh, I know why Bill Gates said that. Uh, he was inferring that he wants another JFK assassination. I don't care. Anybody says, uh, Bill Gates is evil. You can say whatever you want, but I know what those demons in him are saying. So you got to pray for the family every single day. And when I read scriptures like this, Hebrews chapter 13 in the Bible, verse 8, Jesus the Messiah, Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. I'm telling you, if Jesus protected Moses, Jesus can protect Trump. I mean, look at Pharaoh. Look at uh, the whole Egyptian empire disagreed with Moses, and yet Moses was protected. Hello? Look at David. David was never killed by the enemy, and he was protected. Look at, uh, uh, you could say Noah. The whole world ended up in a flood, but God protected Noah. There's always protection by Jesus for his people. Now, if you get out of his leading and direction, then you are in trouble. I mean, I read a verse here earlier. It says uh, in Romans chapter 8, love to read the whole chapter, but uh, I'm not going to. It says, they that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God indeed. Oh, right? This whole chapter is really, uh, to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. The people that are anti-biblical behavior and uh, anti-Jesus are, they all, they're always thinking about, and they're in a, in a, in a cursed death downward spiral, spiral, and they bring that to other people. Uh, Romans 8, uh, 14, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Not just saying a prayer, but saying the prayer, getting your sins washed away, uh, getting born again, and staying born again. Being led of the Holy Spirit is, is, is the fuller definition. Being obedient, hearing and doing what the Holy Spirit and the Word wants you to do, the Bible. Led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So we have to pray that... Uh, that the Trump family and, and listens and, and uh, is led of the Holy Spirit in these last days as well to be protected. Go in the right direction. Do the right thing. Don't go do this. Do this. Don't do that. Watch out over here. But Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So if we pray, Lord, lead them, guide them, direct them, help them to hear your voice, turn their hearts to go in the right direction. Protect them, help them. And if they listen and they pay attention, They'll be protected. Uh, there's a lot of reports that Abraham Lincoln was warned of God that he was going to have an assassination attempt against his life, but didn't heed the warning. Over and over and over and over, God warns people, and they need to, you know, to listen. It's not God's fault that bad things happen on the planet. My Bible says that every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father of lights. Every good and perfect gift, yeah, so... Jesus, I, I never seen Jesus go anywhere and put sickness on anybody. Jesus never went anywhere and killed anybody. But he healed them. He protected them. He provided for them. That's the Jesus that we know. And But we have to pray. And whatever we loose on earth through prayer and obedience will be loosed from heaven. So we have a part to play in these last days. So there's we're, we're in this short period of time before the, next, before the great tribulation of hell hits the earth, according to the Bible prophecies. So we're in a short sliver of time. Of a, of, a, of a refusal against the new world order, resistance. It's not going to last a long time, but let us do what we have to do, obedience to Jesus, and pray for these people every single day. First of all, prayers and supplications be made for kings and all those in authority, the Bible says. We have to pray number one. And like I said, uh, if, you can't, if the demons can't get to the president, elect Trump, they'll try to get to the family or those around him to try to cause him heartache. God will warn, God will protect, but we have to do our 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 part as well. Yeah. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. We cannot be lazy Christians in these last days. Let's pray. Father, in the name of you, just thank you for your word. Thank you for this great time. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for protecting Ivanka. Bless and protect our family and the Trump family and all their relatives and their loved ones. Keep them safe and let them live long and prosperous and protected and anointed lives uh, from now on and protect them as, uh, 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 during the presidency and beyond. 
however, however long you want them in the presidency. If you want them to go for eight years, let it be eight years. And let your mighty work be done. We thank you for what you're doing for the jobs and bringing jobs into America. But it's not only going to stay here and bless America. It's going to spill over to the nation. Your, our cup runneth over. In Psalms 23, right? Thank you, Lord, for blessing not only the states, but for the nations. Let your kingdom come, which will be done on earth. It says in heaven every single day. In Jesus' name, by your mighty hand, amen. All right, Daryl Awesome Live signing off. Hey, I have over 1,400 videos, like I said, on my YouTube channel. Dozens of videos on my Facebook Live. Facebook pages now. So, hey, uh, spread it <laughs> around the world. Let people be reminded of this on a daily basis uh, so that they can uh, uh, continue on, be encouraged, be warned, exhorted, the Bible says. Be reminded of what we have to do. It's very easy to let the flesh slip, even during the holidays. Bring Jesus into the holidays with you. Now, pray for the people that you see around you. Pray for the people at the malls while you're caught in traffic, caught in the long lines, whatever, around family members. Pray for them before you see them. Pray them. Pray for them while you're there. Pray for them when you're leaving, when you're driving. Pray for the people you don't know around you. Take this season to be an. Take this time to be an opportunity. This season to be an opportunity to hear and be a friend of Jesus and listen to Him, obey Him, and pray for those people that we come in contact with, and even the whole planet. That kingdom come. They will be done on earth. The whole planet as it is in heaven. Yet, if we don't do it, who's going to do it? We're supposed to be the body of Christ, joint heirs with Jesus, working together in covenant and agreement with him. All right, Daryl Lawson Live signing off. Tomorrow I'll be driving uh, to, see, to see my relatives, uh, but I should be out of here early in the morning. So I may do a, a Facebook Live uh, on the road or sometime during the morning uh, when I find it safe to do <laughs> when I'm driving. And I will continue to try to do uh, Monday through Friday, tomorrow Friday, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. on Facebook Live and a recap on YouTube Live. All right. Go to DarylLawson.com, click on the link, subscribe, and I will see you online 24-7, and I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. I love you. Bye for now.